We're in Morocco! M640 rear end with a, with a stoplight, it's a, I think Ducati Monster. Uh, the rear rim is, is stock. I, I um, put on a larger rear sprocket because of my next mod, which is the rear suspension. It's custom made from Wilbur's with, with more suspension travel and some custom made parts to hold the spring in, not to not touch the, the linkage, which is stock. Uh, below here when fully compressed it has about 25 or 26 centimeters of, of travel That's why the chain tension has to be very 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 loose. Yeah, so I put on um, a larger rear sprocket first to go off-road second To keep the chain a bit more up and not to damage the, 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 the this slider here because the because it's so loose, you know some uh, proper Foot bags, with, with, which are yeah, comfortable to stand, and if you've got proper boots, they won't they won't hurt your your shoes. Where where are the foot bags from? And these, are, these are actually foot bags 400 XR 600 R, which they fit perfectly. They got me this one, uh, the the shifting lever, which bends, or here it's flappable for when I crash. I don't like this one, but I um, I fell off road and I. Uh, crashed the CETA, I got one from CETA for, from the CRF 300 which is way better qu build quality. So this is my spare part I carried with me to this Morocco trip. Here I got my tire levers. In all my glorious career I never never used them. This is the, the motor boxer bash plate which actually is, is, is I think it's, it's nicely built. And um, inside here you have a toolbox. It's actually from the Honda Honda Dominator 650. It's a stock one from the Honda Dominator 650. And on this bike, it's also mounted there. So that's what I did. Um, the, the Buono fairing kit with the proper headlights, with, which are street legal. Here you can uh, then, okay, the high fender, of course. A service, rally handguards, some, some flappable, nice machine levers. The flappable mirror from Touratech. Um, the, the fat bar, you can see it, it's a 28, 28 millimeter fat bar yeah. with, a, uh, with a riser. I put on the front fork of the XR600R, which is also used for the African Twin Marathon. It has the, the it's, uh, in, in, it's, it's adjustable in uh, compression and it has uh, 28 centimeters of, of, tr of, of travel. Um, I also used the. Uh, it just uh, fits in plug and play in the in the transup steering head. You don't have to do any changes. You use the use the um, transup stock or Africa Twin RDO4 um, bearing bearing here. Um, I also used the XR600R front wheel. Uh, I respoke them. Uh, put in some some alloy alloy uh, spokes. Uh, you can use a trans on the wheel, but uh, you have to do some weird mods here with, space, with spacers and something. I didn't want to mess around with, those, with that shit. So I used the, the XR600R front wheel. If you make this uh, front fork conversion, you will lose your your thingy, your holder here for your ignition lock. Okay. So that's... You can... You can here are some holes. You can build something, but I didn't want to mess around with it. And I don't like the keys and no one will steal the bike so I just have a switch here. All TÜV approved. I have to carry a lock for the for the brake disc. It's written in the paper. Okay. So because there is also no no steering head lock anymore. Yeah. I have to I have to carry the the lock in my in the when I when I go riding. But uh, actually no one cares. It's written in the paper. A front caliper and what I have had to do because there's a tooth in Germany and it has to be written in the papers all, all the, all the months. Uh, they wanted me to to mount a bigger brake disc, a larger one with more diameter. This is I think 300. It's from HE Motorrad Technik in Germany, Bavaria. Um, it's made for XR 600 R supermoto um, mods. So it, it fits the, on the wheel, of course, because it's the XR 600 R uh, front wheel. 
uh, just to, to, to make it fit to the to the um, to the larger front disc because it's not only for the tube, it's also a safety reason. You cannot you cannot get to a stop properly with a with a with a stock XR 600 R uh, front brake system um, when when you carry around 40 kilograms uh, more or even 80 kilograms more. I think the XR 600 is, uh, R is 120 kilograms. This one is almost 200 now. I think uh, even if I strip stripped it a, a bit. Um, so this is my my speedo sensor here. It's just a COSO system. It shows me speed and everything I want to know. Um, important mod is this one here because uh, because of the weight of the crank up and the in the um, huge brake power, the uh, huge brake power you have now with the, with a large disc, you need to you will have some fork flex when getting it to a serious stop. Um, that's why I mounted this stabilizer system here. You can get for, for a few bucks in in the US. Uh, it, it, it will give you a, a very um, a good feeling for the front wheel, and there's, there will be no flex anymore, as far as I can, as far as I use the bike. If you do that conversion, you have to watch out. Um, the when fully compressed, the wheel not to touch the frame. Um, it depends on the, the internals of your of your fork. They they are slightly different from your model to your model from the XR 600R. This one works. I measured it, it properly, but there's not not much space. So you have to unfortunately use the, the high front fender because there's no possibility to mount uh, the low one. Even it's it's a carb eater system which works great. Um, it's, it's a full Android system actually. You can you can just have your maps which will you can get for free if you buy the system, and um, it's remote controlled if you buy the. This one here, which is not, it's not uh, mounted as the factory wants it to be mounted because there is a special bracket which was not available to mount it this way because there was no, 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 uh, no space left in my handlebar. So, so here is my ignition. Here is my fan. When I go off road, I turn off, the, turn on the fan just to, just for my safety. So you feel like it gives me some secure feeling. Yeah, uh, it's not necessary because Trans Alp is very uh, reliable and will not overheat. I have here. I have a. Uh, Proper 12, 12 volt for I use those I use this one for um, for the airman for pumping up yeah. the tires because I don't want to mess around with the with a manual pump in the desert. This one is just for charging phone on the campground or something. Um, speedo here shows you all important um, things. What I did is the, the fuel gog I just uh, connected to the to the temperature sensor of the of the engine, yeah. and uh, in the manual there's written the the, the resistance uh, values for full tank, and um, the, I know the resistance value for uh, in the in the paper of the motorbike there's written the the, the amount of the, the resistance for a uh, hot engine. Okay. And I know the the value for the full tank of this system, yeah. and I just uh, type in the right value. So if the if my uh, fuel dog says full the engine will be hot and the fan will start uh, coming on yeah will coming on this one i can i can hear do the, the bluetooth connection i can i can, I can hear remote control zoom in zoom out i can block the map I can switch around see see where i am have a great gps signal uh, can and i can also uh, completely remote control the the whole the whole system it's a full android ta tablet there are also some uh, other um, some other um, applications on this this uh, system like a road roadbook mode or even if you have if, if you have a more a modern bike you can just to the obd um, plug you can connect uh, you can you can uh, put in a some Bluetooth dongle thingy, and that will connect to the, to the tablet and show you all the parameters of the of the bike. The system uh, from the Carpe Eater pad works with um, works well for track track navigation. If you want to have turn by turn, just use Google Maps or or anything you want. Uh, you can put in a SIM card, SD card, everything, and uh, the maps are for free for the whole world. It's in topographic. You can you can. Uh, choose between topographic view which is good for off-roading you can you can this is here the north of Morocco you see the the pistes are marked here proper roads are marked here uh, it's it's mostly reliable uh, I've, I've experienced it once uh, that uh, was a properly marked road which was actually a goat track 
I have the the um, brake line I have mounted here in this motocross style because uh, if the for front fork fully compresses, this one goes 30 centimeters up, and the, the stock transal wiring is not uh, cannot be used anymore. First of all, I have stainless steel uh, exhaust pipe. I have uh, the, this, uh, the um, reservoir for the shock here for uh, comp uh, low and high speed compression. I have the rebound down here, so it's fully adjustable. Um, Thanks for joining me again and see you next time.